Hey guys, okay, so I wanted to talk about something in particular tonight. Um, I wanted to talk about our trials and tribulations. I wanted to talk about how I myself have been through a lot of trials in my life, just like everybody else. You know, my story could be a little bit different from someone else's, or it could be I have a lot of stories that are exactly like other people's. You know, I experienced a lot of problems with alcohol throughout my life, so I've completely stopped drinking, and the only person I can thank for that is God himself. And I got in trouble with the law, and also both of my brothers actually committed suicide, so that was really hard to deal with. But while I was in that state, or that frame of mind, while I was out there drinking and partying and doing whatever I wanted to do, one of the things I would think about is, why did I get caught? You know, I would see other people out there drinking and driving all the time and never getting pulled over, nothing bad happening to them, and they're still at the bar to this day. Nothing against them, I'll pray for them. However, what I didn't realize was God was putting me through these challenges and these tribulations to help me learn I know a lot of people will join our chat room and kind of troll us and say, why would God let, you know, innocent children die? Let me tell you something. If a child is being not parented correctly or hurt in some way, God's either going to take them out of the situation by putting them in with, a, with better parents or the child's going to be taken up to heaven. So the trials and tribulations that we go through here on earth, they're all learning opportunities. And if not for you, if for other people around you, people that see these stories on the news, the people who, well, hello there, little, <laughs> the people who don't really seem to go through a lot of bad things or portray that they don't go through a lot of bad things, it seems to me, and this is just an opinion, that these are the type of people that have stray, sh strayed so far away from God and they just don't have him a part of their life at all. Don't get me wrong. I turned my back on God. Hello, littles, again. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Little says hi. I've turned my back on God. I always know that Jesus died for our sins. And I always know that he was a part of my life. However, when I wanted to take the steering wheel, seriously, when I wanted to take the steering wheel and do things my way, it never, ever ended up being good. It's always his way. We're here on earth, not because of what we want. It's because of what he wants. We're here for a purpose. We can't think self-centered thoughts. I'm just watching this cat. We can't keep thinking self-centered thoughts or negative thoughts against other people. If you start thinking these things, the first thing you need to do is pray. That's the absolute first thing you need to do. Um, that's what I've been doing. I've been a lot more patient with a lot of things in my life, which God has blessed me with that. And also when I told you guys that I repented my sins, immediately I felt his love rush through my body. However, I knew there was a bunch more stuff that I didn't repent for, that I just couldn't remember. Because when you're in the state of mind, when you're out partying and doing a whole bunch of stuff uh, that you're not supposed to be doing, a lot of godless activities, um, you're not really thinking about God. You're only thinking about yourself. Uh, the only time that you really need Him is when something bad happened. And that's not the type of relationship that we want to have with God. We want to have a very personal relationship. So when I repented my sins, I thought of four really big sins that I could never get out of my mind and I could never forgive myself for. This day, I know that God's forgiven me for those horrible things that, I do, that I've done, that we've all done bad things here and there. However, there was a bunch of stuff that I forgot about because, again, I was out drinking and not remembering and just like blacking the bad things out from my memory completely because I didn't want to deal with it. So what I did was I prayed to God to please, please show me the other things that I need to repent for. And sure enough, yesterday something came into my mind that uh, happened like eight years ago or something. Um, I'm 28 now, so it was like when I was 20. Um, 
and that popped up in my head and I haven't thought about that since it happened so immediately when it popped into my head I repented for it and I felt so much better so I expect a bunch more things to be popping in my head that I need to repent for but as long as we accept Jesus Christ into our hearts and we know that he died for our sins and completely just give ourselves to him then we're going to be in a lot better place but the trials and tribulations that we're dealing with here on earth they're all for a reason and you have to be patient you know I could have been like it was unfair and cursed at God for taking away my brothers but instead my whole family's gotten so much closer to God ever since then ever since then we all talk about God every day now I don't think that's a coincidence so anyways um that's what I wanted to say God's just God's just testing us. He's, he's teaching us. He's not testing us. He's teaching us. Bad things are inevitable. They're going to happen. It's the way that we deal with it. Are we dealing with it through Christ? Or are we trying to deal with it ourselves? Sometimes we cannot handle the bad things that are happening to us. And you know what I say then is I give this to you, God, because I can't handle it. I just can't. And that's what my mom does too. Hey, beautiful. Everybody wants to be in video today. Everybody wants to be in video today. So anyways, that's what I wanted to discuss there. Um, just trials and tribulations. <laughs> what are you doing? Alright, well, I'm going to go eat my food that's ready. And I'm going to go to bed. Because my mom is definitely going to come over here tomorrow. And wake me up and pour water on me. So, and give some attention to baby. Alright guys, you have a very blessed night. I hope you guys stay positive as always. And just keep God a part of everything that you do in your life. And if you think that you're doing something wrong or you think that um, you kind of wonder if something's a sin or not because it's not really in the Bible, just think about it this way. If Jesus is watching everything you're doing, do you think that the thing that you're doing is right? Do you, do you want to go up to heaven and explain that to him later? No. That's all I got to say on that. Okay, I will talk to you guys later, and God bless all of you again. All right, bye.